Before we begin with the presentation, I'm going to share with you a video from our District 1 Councilman Mario Bravo, who has a few words on the project. Hi, I'm Mario Bravo, City Councilman for District 1. And I want to thank you all for joining us right now for the Department of Art and Culture's Community Engagement Session on, the, uh, on this mural public art project that's going to go in Maverick Plaza at La Historic La Villita. Um, now, I'm a little bit jealous because you all are going to be able to see this concept before I am, but I want to thank all of you who joined us back in October for your initial input on this design, which is going to help feature the city of San Antonio as a city of gastronomy. So let's go ahead and take a look at Kathy Sosa's initial concept. Thank you. Throughout tonight's presentation, you will be able to send questions directly to the Department of Arts and Culture by clicking on the chat icon at the bottom of your screen. To submit questions, use the chat and make sure to scroll down to everyone so that we can all see your question and respond. We will do our best to respond to the questions that you have in this presentation. However, if we do not address them, we will follow up afterwards. The chat in this meeting is part of public record and will be open to everyone. And we ask that you use the essay speak up guiding principles for conversation that is meaningful, transparent, respectful, and inclusive, and that you refrain from using profanity. Tonight, we are going to look at what our public art process is, provide a project overview, and look at the community engagements re engagement results before moving in to the concept. We will then look at the schedule and then we will move into the discussion portion. For those of you who did not join us in our meeting in October to discuss the theme or are not familiar with what public art is, I would like to take a quick moment to discuss what public art is that is managed by the city of San Antonio. Uh, City of San Antonio Public Art looks at art that has been through an engagement process to determine where the art will be placed, who the artist will be, and what the themes and inspiration for the art will be. It's developed by artists and is unique and not mass produced. It is approved by our San Antonio Arts Commission and our Public Art Committee, and it is managed by a Department of Arts project manager, such as myself, and it is usually paid for with public funds. Uh, these funds come from 1% allocated from the transportation and capital improvement funds, and they are then used to implement public art projects according to our public art plan. We are currently developing. We are currently developing projects for our 2017 and 20 uh, through 2022 bond program. Every project that our department manages goes through an extensive process where we check in with the community and different stakeholders. As you can see, this process is entirely driven by the community in nearly every phase, and we cannot create our projects without you, and we appreciate your support, especially in coming to events like this. As you can see, there are three phases that are highlighted in red. These phases are where the project must get approval from our San Antonio Arts Commission, and public art committee. We are currently in the design phase of this project. We will then move into the fabrication and installation, and then there will be a dedication ceremony at the end to celebrate the completion of the project. So here you can see that we are looking at historic La Villita, and that is where our project is going to be, Maverick Plaza. So the scope of the project uh, with Public Works is the construction of a new plaza space that will have a restaurant in it. Uh, and this is going to be ran by a uh, local chef, Johnny Hernandez. And due to the location of the mural and the culinary importance of San Antonio as being a city of gastronomy and the culinary importance to Maverick Plaza, uh, we are looking at having a culinary theme to this mural, which I will discuss a little bit later on. Uh, here you can see the location of Maverick Plaza. Uh, so this mural, again, is going to be placed on the exterior wall of a soon-to-be-constructed restaurant. 
2017, San Antonio was designated as a creative city of gastronomy, and it is one of two cities in the United States to receive this honor. Uh, Maverick Plaza will play a key role in helping further the culinary legacy of San Antonio with the creation of uh, new restaurants and an outdoor um, educational cooking um, kitchen. Uh, so um, now moving into the community engagement results. So again, as um, Councilman Bravo said, thank you very much for those of you who joined us uh, for our last meeting and took our survey. We had a survey um, in September and October of 2021, and we had a virtual meeting on October 12th. Uh, so we got some feedback from that survey in which the mural should focus on the traditions of indigenous, Mexican, and European culinary influences, specifically the evolution of food traditions and diverse food influences in San Antonio. It should feature a combination of a repeated pattern and solid color background, and it should have a nostalgic, symbolic, and timeless tone and utilizing a bright and colorful um, color palette. Um, some of the other feedback that we got um, was the mural should be representative of San Antonio's 300 year history. It should showcase vegetables, spices, and other culinary ingredients. It is a great opportunity to remind uh, the community of San Antonio being a city of gastronomy. It should reference La Vita, and it should act as an opportunity to bridge history and traditions represented in culinary history and in La Vita, and really uh, showcase different types of foods and food history. So with that, all of that uh, in mind, I am now going to share a video uh, by Kathy Sosa. Kathy Sosa is the local artist from San Antonio selected for this project, whose video will share some notes on this project. And I do want to let everyone know that the audio on this video is soft. Uh, so in the following slides, I will be reiterating her points. So if you cannot hear the video, um, you'll hear it again later. Uh, but I do encourage you to turn up your volume all of the way for the next video. Hi, I'm Kathy Sosa, and I am honored to be the artist selected to design the mural for Maverick Plaza in the new La Vita. The design is a personification of San Antonio's unique cuisine, and I think of her as a goddess or a patron saint of San Antonio cuisine. She is set in a symbolic kitchen and surrounded by imported and indigenous ingredients that go into making San Antonio's unique foodways. And she's also holding and surrounded by implements for making our food. Some of the indigenous ingredients include nopales and beans and corn and soto, cacao and squash, and imported ingredients like pork and beef and sheep and milk. So all of those things go together to make our cuisine, and they will all be featured in our video. Again, just a reminder that the sound on that video uh, was a little bit uh, quiet. And so when we do send out the follow-up recording, uh, we will include that video. And I am going to now uh, move into the concept and reiterate some of those points that Kathy made. So uh, we are now going to be looking at the concept design. So what we have here is the concept uh, by Kathy Sosa, and we are looking at a personification of the city of San Antonio as the city of gastronomy, as a female figure who is the goddess of a unique cuisine, uh, created and involved from both the indigenous and European influences. In the foreground, we see the figure who is a mestiza, and she's wearing a huipal and holds a kitchen tool symbolic of our cuisine, which is a molinillo whisk used for the making of Mexican hot chocolate. Around the female figure, we see a halo, and uh, that is surrounding her, and it is inspired by a tree of life. And in this uh, case, we are seeing the tree of life become a very lush garden. And so in both her uh, traditional dress and the tree of life, uh, we are seeing the references to La Vita uh, as 
desired in the community engagement. We are also seeing the references of San Antonio's 300 years of history by looking at indigenous ingredients and exported ingredients. And then we are seeing gastronomy through a variety of tools and ingredients. Um, we see that in the garden, there are number, a number of um, different ingredients as well as kitchen utensils. And uh, we can see that the figure is in a traditional uh, kitchen space with that uh, familiar checked floor. And uh, around the uh, figure is a border uh, of molcajetes, and we are seeing a very bright and bold color palette. Um, we can see um, that there are a number of exported and uh, indigenous ingredients. Uh, from the exported ingredients, we can see a nopal. Uh, we can see that there are um, pumpkins. And then from imported ingredients, we can see that there are cows and pigs and sheep um, amongst another, amongst many other ingredients. Um, so for this design, uh, Kathy Sosa did work with some experts. Um, she worked with Adon Madrano, who wrote um, Truly Texas Mexican and Don't Count the Tortillas. And she also worked with Dr. Ellen Riojas Clark, who is uh, well known in the region for uh, food culture. And she is also a member of the San Antonio Arts Commission and is a published author on a number of foods, including tamales and pan dulce and a professor emerita in Mexican American studies. Uh, so moving into the timeline for this project. So this project uh, did originally begin in 2020 uh, with the project research and scoping. And um, we did our community engagement in October of 2021. We are looking at having a final design approved in August of 2022, and then the artwork being installed and dedicated in um, 2022 or 2023, which is contingent on the hemisphere and La Vieta construction schedules. Um, so we have now reached the discussion portion of the presentation, and I have included here some questions for you to consider to get the conversation started. And if you are calling in on the phone, just know that there may be a period of silence while we're waiting for the feedback to come in. So I will leave the concept design up here um, and these discussion questions, and I will uh, begin answering the feedback as it starts coming in. All right, I am seeing one comment um, and it says that I love the inclusion of the tile floor of the tile floor. It makes me feel right at home like I'm in someone's kitchen and I agree. It definitely makes the figure in the space feel very familiar. Um, maybe memories of cooking at home or cooking with a loved one. And I think that that's a great touch. Um, I see another question that says, will the mural be painted directly onto the building? And the answer to that is no. Uh, the mural is going to be painted on a poly tab, uh, which is similar to a type of vinyl, and that is a material that can be uh, placed inside in, an, in a studio and painted directly on, and then it will be adhered to the building following the completion of the painting. Great question. I see another comment that says, my favorite part of the design is the inclusion of all of the symbolic ingredients and cooking tools surrounding her. And I, I agree, I think that there's so many great ingredients. It's 
really cool to see the uh, indigenous and the exported ingredients combined and see how uh, they really illustrate this picture of the extensive history that San Antonio has as a culinary city and really gives a great highlight and depiction of the city of San Antonio as a city of gastronomy. I see another comment, this mural makes me feel at home and I think it will be great in La Vita. Yeah, hopefully it will uh, make La Vita feel like a very at home and welcoming space. Um, another question is what is the size of this mural? And this mural is going to be a square mural that is 10 feet by 10 feet. Thank you all for this discussion and feedback and questions. This is great. I see a question of how high off the ground floor Will the base of the mural be more or less? And uh, that is a great question. And I believe it will be about um, two feet off. And that is a question that I can um, further discuss with the design team uh, to ensure that that is correct, but it is quite low to the ground. Okay, great. That was, I was just curious to see if it would be at eye level, but it sounds like it and it will be easy to see. Yes, it will definitely be easy to see uh, and it will be very much something that you can go up and interact with. Um, question, will there be a label explaining the different ingredients? So all of the signage that we do have with our public art projects does explain the artwork um, to a certain extent but we also have a very comprehensive website that will include much more detail. So even if it's not explaining every single ingredient that's on uh, the mural, the website will have a much more comprehensive explanation. Um, I love the way that the new ingredient that a new ingredient pops out and surprises me every time I look at the design. I absolutely agree with that. And I think that every time you come to this space, you'll be able to see something new and maybe it will be a fun search to try and find something new every time you look at it. All right. Well, I'm not seeing any other comments or questions right now, so I will move on to the next slide. But if there's anything else that comes up, I will come back to this one. Um, so, um, I just want everyone to know that you are able to email me directly at uh, jordan.patrius at sanantonio.gov or call me at 210-207-1434. All of the attendees of this event will receive a follow-up email from this. Uh, you will receive a recording of this presentation, including the uh, videos from the councilman and uh, from Kathy. And we very much enjoyed uh, having you and having this discussion. And I thank you so much for taking your time out of the out of your evening. I saw one more comment say that this is a great mural to inspire the chefs at the nearby restaurants. And I absolutely agree. I am so happy that I got to share this concept with you by local artist Kathy Sosa and uh, give you a glimpse into how this mural will really highlight and honor San Antonio as a city of gastronomy 
and uh, be impactful in this space. And uh, thank you very much. And I hope you have a wonderful evening.